Good morning everybody, it's wee Paddy from Across the Shock, you're very welcome back to the channel. And a uh, nice wee video for you today. And stay to the end, don't miss the end because there is a reveal of the Christmas giveaway. Now, as you know, I don't do a lot of giveaways during the year. But what I do try to do is twice a year give away a really good knife. I'll give away recently a, a couple of Jack Wolf knives. Uh, I can't even remember what else. But this year, for Christmas, I've got a special one. Uh, and it's not a Jack Wolf this year. Uh, there'll be another Jack Wolf next year at some stage, either the middle or the end of the year. But this year I've got a really special one that I'm really pleased to give away. And I, I think it, I just want to... This is one that I bought and paid for. So that means a wee bit more to me to give that away. And maybe a wee bit more to you that I'm not giving away something I've been given to me. So I think you'll enjoy that at the end. But first I want to clear up some of the videos I've done recently. And unlike me, I left wee things out. The first one I'm going to talk about is... Uh, I'll, I'll actually get one of the knives out. Here it is. I'll get one of the knives out that are really tough. Well, we're talking um, about stiff pulls. This... Ashley Harrison is an incredibly, it's about a 9 out of 10. It's getting a wee bit, it was about a 9.5 when I first got it, but it is getting, it's really difficult to open. With an, thankfully I can pull it, but I'll only do that once because otherwise you strain yourself. But it's got a beautiful big nail neck in it, as you can see there. And I was talking about the little nail neck openers. Now, if you've been about a while, you know what these are. It's just a little bit of metal. This one's wrapped in bone. This is from Rough Rider, so it costs a couple of pound. And it's perfect. You can see there, it's perfect for opening really stiff knives. And I just wanted to show people that maybe haven't used one, how to use it. This, again, this is 9 out of 10. And like, I have really strong nails, and this nearly bent mine. So it's a real, very close to a nail breaker. There is the nail break in there. You just put this into it. And I hold it, push it in, and I push it upwards. Put my thumb on the top here. Get right up in close. I'm right up close. Thumb in top. And then just pull. And you're pulling away from yourself. So even if you slip, your hand's going this way. And you're not in front of the blade. Okay, I'll do that again just so that people can see. You put your nail neck, your little bit of metal in there. Then I lean back, push in, pull the other side towards you, and pull up. That is a nightmare to do with your nail, honestly. And this makes it so simple. And if I'm carrying this knife, because after a while, if you're opening and closing a lot, it gets really sore in your, your uh, nails. I put this in my little fifth pocket. As you know, in my fifth pocket, all I ever carry in there is a tourniquet. It's a paracord tourniquet. I use it for all sorts of things. Tying up some bundle of stuff if I want to carry it or whatever. But it's, it's a really useful little tourniquet. If you want to see it, I'll bring it out in another video. So, perfect little thing, couple of pound, put it in your pocket when you're carrying a stiff knife and you've always got it. So there's that. The other day I was talking about the knife that I got from Beth, who's Ashley's apprentice. Uh, and we've done a sharpening video using a Lansky turnbox, which is perfect. I have the ones with the diamond steel and the um, ceramic. It's a little bit dearer, I think it's £40 here in the UK. A little bit dearer, but it'll do all your knives. You know, all your powdered metal knives as well. So, perfect. But at the end of everything, when I sharpen, no matter what I'm sharpening, I always strop. I get a strop out, and I've said that, you always strop. And maintaining the knife, strop. Every night after I've used it, I strop, and then put it away. And the knife is ready and sharp for the next go. It's very rarely I have to sharpen. And I'm not a heavy user either. And I have lots of knives, which doubly makes it. But... For a recurve, I hear people say, oh, what do you do? How do you, short, how do you strop a recurve? Well, here's how you do it. You have a little bit of leather. That's it. It's quite a firm wee bit of leather. and It's smooth on the back and it's rough on the inside, which I cover in compound. Smurf Poo is the one I'm using at the minute. Uh, all you do to do this is fold it in half like that. Gently just fold it over and then you see you have a rounded top. That's how you sharpen one of these. And for stropping, you shouldn't be pushing hard. And it'll maybe help you with that there. So it's just like sharp, stropping everything else. I put the tip down, 
and then I run up through. I don't have to do anything with the blade because this is rounded. The, the central point of it is stropping right up that, that blade angle. So just hold your angle and gently strop it forward, back and forward, until you get the required effect with the knife that it's nice. It's removed any last little burrs that you have from stropping. And you'll tell that simply by getting a little bit of paper. Oh, let's get this up here. A little bit of paper. This little knife is like a razor. Oh, he says that. But right down, I just want you to see, right down to the tip, it is perfect. And that's what, this little knife, <laughs> here's really strange. I don't particularly like recurves. I don't really particularly like the swaybacks. <laughs> but this is a, honestly, I can't tell, this is different in comfort. It's very rounded here. So it sits in my palm instead of digging into it. And this, you see, for opening packages and opening boxes, cutting cardboard, you'd be amazed how good this little knife is. Because of that recurve, it keeps everything inside that. So you don't tend to slip out of the box. You can go straight through. I am over breath, more impressed with this now that I've actually used it. And I always said I didn't like them. I just wanted this because it was Beth's favourite. So there you go. That's another good tip. These are super little knives. And it's only C70, so a strop will keep this going forever. Well, not forever, that's an exaggeration. But stropping is really important and uh, I'll maybe do a video again just on stropping at some time soon. What am I carrying today? Well, I'm going to show you what I'm carrying today. I'm carrying my Jack Wolf Pioneer. I have managed to get the little bro out of my hand. I have a pile of cardboard today, so I'm going to be using this. And I'm in my Richter's Richter's knife slip, which is going lovely and smooth. It was quite furry when I got it. And you, when it they're in use now, you can see it's starting to, all these smooth spaces coming on it. But a lovely slip and a lovely knife. And uh, gorgeous. Really do. Framar knife still has a couple of little bro jacks. Please get over there. Buy yourself a Christmas present. Or show your wife how to get the Framar knives. That's a better way. Um, the five knives video is coming. Justin's coming across tonight. We're going to spend a while finding out. I, technically, I know I'm a bit stupid. But he's going to come across. We're going to try and get a way of doing it. And we'll do a video. It probably won't be a live video. Because we'll, we've got to get the format sorted out. And we'll do it just a video. And go through and talk about each people's each person's knives. And thank you to everybody that sent me pictures of their knives. It was five pictures of knives in their collection. So that's coming very shortly. Hopefully in the next week. Uh, what else? No, that's it. Is it going to get to... The, oh, YouTube. I'm not with YouTube anymore. Well, I'm with YouTube, but I'm not getting any money from them. I uh, I don't get funded by YouTube anymore. Basically, I'm 65 at the end of this month. And it was going to start affecting my pension. And I thought, no, I just... That's not me. I'm not going to do that. I, mean, I, I only ever got usually between about 60 and 100 pounds on a really good month because I had taken out the videos in the middle of the middle of my videos a few months ago because they annoy me and they were just getting ridiculously long. So I've just now taken all the uh, sponsorship off YouTube uh, and you just get my videos. The videos, if they put any advertising on, it's them. It's not me. So I, I have no advertising on with them. But apparently they're just going to throw in these mid-roll ones. I think that's what's coming. But I have nothing on with them. So I don't get any money from YouTube anymore. And I suppose that's a sort of a segue into look. At the bottom of my videos, I will put my... Uh, I don't know. What are you... Oh, I can never remember what you call these technical things. It's my... Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what it is and you'll know what it is. <laughs> it's SG Anderson... 0259 at gmail.com whatever you call that I'll put that down below because it's also my PayPal uh, and if if you've at all got a couple of pounds at the end of the month you've got spare and you want to throw to the channel I would be really grateful I'm not poor I'm not crying poor mouth but it does cost a bit to run a channel and we're not getting that wee extra sum you know I will feel it it'll not stop me running my channel because I love it too much to stop it but if you could help I'd be more than happy to receive a couple of pounds just at the end of the month if you can throw it in there or whenever you got a couple of quid it would really really help me and the channel and every single penny will go on knives that will be on the uh, the be on the channel and at the end of every month people who have donated that few quid I'd like to put your name down and the description underneath that and uh, just to say thank you if you want to remain anonymous 
just say that and I'll not put your name down. But I really would like to thank those uh, if you would let me. That's it. Now, the special part, the Christmas giveaway. Over the last couple of years, I give away Jack Wolf knives of all sorts. I usually do it twice a year. I'll do a big knife now because I don't do the wee tiny ones anymore. I just can't afford because uh, because I'll do mine. Mine are all open to the world. You know, most of mine are worldwide, my, my uh, giveaways. Uh, and I just can't afford it. Uh, it's just getting too expensive. But for the big ones, it's open to everybody in the world. There's no problem. You're more than welcome. You just have to be a sub. You have to be a sub and you have to have commented on at least two videos this year. I don't care whether they're last week or two months away. That's the only stipulation I'm going to do because that affects the algorithms that my video will get shown. And I need that now. I need that little bit of help. You know, if you share a video or you, you comment, it makes such a difference to my, the channel. At the minute, they're taking more subs off me than they're giving me nearly. It's just one of them things. I, I don't mind. I have enough of you here that I'm happy. So that's not the problem. But that's going to be the stipulation. You must have commented on two videos this year. I will check because that's your entry is the two videos you commented on, not including the one that will be this one or the when I do the uh, when I open it up for the giveaway. I will be drawing the giveaway on Christmas Day as I always do. It'll probably be Christmas night that I will do the drawing, which is after 6 p.m. in the UK. Sometime after that, when I get back home again, because I go to the daughters and the grandchildren, that night I'll do a live uh, drawing for the winner. And what are you going to win? You're going to win this. This beautiful, this is beautiful wood, green wood, and it's been dyed. And it is unbelievable, the depth in this knife. Honestly, you can't believe that is wood. It is stunning. Beautiful, beautiful wood. So, and the back spacers, it's, uh, there you go. They've been worked, the back, the back spine, I should say, has been worked beautifully done. And you have, is it Dama steel or whatever they call this? Look at that beautiful blade. It is stunning. And you can go back and watch the videos. Out. There you go. Look how beautiful that blade is. It is gorgeous. Handmade by one person, Ashley Harrison. Hard to get? Yes, they're <laughs> at the minute, they're nearly impossible to get. You just have to work really hard to get one of these videos because or to get one of these videos, to get one of these knives. This is a beautiful knife. Really is. Just a trapper, a single trapper. You can see that trapper handle. It is beautiful. Full four fingers. I have a large hand. The blade itself, let me just see. The blade itself, if you're going down to the Ricasso, is literally a, a millimetre just over three inches. The cutting edge is well under three inches. But uh, beautiful knife. A stunning knife to have in your collection. Will you use this a lot? Probably not. This is a showpiece for me. Yes, it can be used. There's nothing wrong with a blade steel. It's the, the best way you can do this folded steel. And he uses the proper materials. Just a stunning piece of Ashley's work. But that wood handle is unbelievably deep and just gorgeous so that's going to be the this year's giveaway for christmas i hope you all like that i think so many people want ashley harrison knives and it is really difficult to get them so this is an ashley custom you are more than welcome to have this you just have to have watched two videos this year and i don't care whether you put them in for go and watch them last week or i don't care but i just need that because for algorithms in fact if you do it sometime in the last month pick two videos you like and you'll put that down as your entry the two videos that you've watched and commented on thank you by the way um so there you go i'll show this knife again i'll probably do another showing off it before i do the entry the enter if the entry will start probably in the middle of december somewhere i'm talking about maybe the the 15th or something like that, I'll do the entry and then the draw will be on Christmas evening, the 25th. Well, I think it's the 25th this year. You can let me know if I'm wrong in the description. So there you go. That was quite a lot to take in. Um, thank you very much for watching. Again, thank you so much for another year of great support. Um, 
this wee channel means so much to me and you know that it, it's it's my it's my little saviour it's my little getaway and be happy room where i sit and talk to you lot so i hope you the wee tips are any good for those who didn't know about recurves that wee nail neck neuropa if you've got soft nails or no nails have that throw it in your fifth pocket you'll never bore out of it again look those of us who carry pocket knives are never in that much of a rush to get them out so a wee nail neck coming out just bang it's open and the stropping so there you go i hope you all enter in for this i really do hope you all enter in for it uh, i think it's a beautiful knife and uh, i can't wait to hear how the winner enjoys the knife so i'm away now what have i blethered for oh, it's only 15 minutes god's sake it's a quick one take care everybody paddy's away for a wee cup of tea it's not too far away from me top of the morning to you bye bye night